right, yesterday Take Two Interactive announced that they're coming out with a trailer for video game next month. I'm going to be specific about they in a moment. And that news alone was enough to send the stock up more than 5% because the game in question is, yes, Grand Theft Auto 6, the next installment of the biggest franchise in the entertainment business. The last installment came out a decade ago, and look, it's the highest grossing entertainment product in history. After the close, Take-Two reported a good quarter, although some thought that their guidance came in a bit below expectations. More on that, too. It was still enough to send the stock up another 2%. So could this be the start of a major move higher? Not that we already haven't had 30 points since we saw them last. Let's check in with Strauss Zeldick, chairman and CEO of Take-Two Interactive, to get a better sense of what's going on. Mr. Zeldick, welcome back to Man Money. Nice to be here, Jim. All right, so, Strauss, one of the reasons why uh, I always find it hard to tell people to own your stock, because I always want them to, is because of this. There's a Reuters story that comes out today. It says, Take-Two Interactive forecast downbeat bookings on sluggish demand. Now, can I just tell you, I read everything in a vacuum. I thought the bookings were upbeat on good demand. <laughs> How does this stuff keep happening? Well, you know, I really can't comment on Reuters. I can tell you that we were at the high end of our net bookings range <laughs> for the quarter, that we re reiterated our guidance for the year. Our management results were exceeding expectations, uh, and sales are great across the board. Still well, challenging times out there, but we're really right, uh, challenging over times. The but I, it, I'll give you look. Let, let's give them this. There were some people who felt that that uh, NBA 2K, which I think is just an amazing game, could have done say uh, five million. It did four and a half. I mean, is that make or break for you? That's just a timing matter. We think that NBA 2K24 will end up being uh, a bigger title than last year's iteration. It's certainly a better title. Uh, but there are different marketing methods that we uh, uh, pursue at different times. So that's right. This uh, this time last year, we were closer to five million. Right. We'll end up making that up over the coming months. And I understand there's some people who feel, uh, and you've told me all over and over again, it's really hard to crack into the Zynga part of the business, the mobile. But if you get it, it's the holy grail. Now, I think that you talked about a group, my agent's endeavor. You talked about the possibility of something called Power Slap, which I have not seen in my own bed, that sounds like it could be the next big. Uh, it's, it's already a hit. It's a modest hit, but it's a hit. I think the key thing is that the hardest thing to do in mobile video games is create a new hit. Right. And we have Power Slap, which is small but terrific. And then we have two that are bubbling up, Match Factory and Top Troops. Um, so we're cautiously optimistic. You know, I don't like to claim success before I know. It occurs, but it feels pretty good. But you know, it's it, funny. I was looking at the New York Times numbers yesterday, and I know my wife plays Wordle every night before she goes to bed. And I said, I said, Strauss has got something better than Wordle. I know he's got. Where is it? So we have a lot of great titles, actually. I mean, the, the best thing about Zynga is it, like our console and PC business, it has the best collection of owned intellectual property in the mobile space. The point, though, is we always need to refresh that. That is hard in mobile looks like we're going to be able to do that. Meanwhile, the deal itself has a, a overachieved against, against all of the metrics that we laid out, and it's accretive to the company. We're really happy with it. Good. I'm glad you said it that way, because sometimes what happens is people say, well, it's really hard, and then who knows how they're doing, but it actually is uh, empirical that it's winning. I yes. mean, there are numbers. That's exactly right. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, about Grand Theft Auto. Uh, first, the current iteration, but then six. First, I want people to understand, you not only do not rush a game, but it's entirely possible that Mr. Hauser, who I know is a genius, didn't even tell you that he's, good, that he's ready. Is he that independent? Uh, we're very close colleagues, so uh, n no, that wouldn't be the way any well-run company operates. Uh, we work together very closely. That said, our labels do have a great deal of independence, and we right. not only encourage them to pursue creativity endlessly. Right. We insist that they pursue their passions. And look, Grand Theft Auto V was released 10 years ago. It sold in over 190 million units. It continues to be a powerful force in the business today. Uh, something like that is worth waiting for. Okay, so, first of all, I'm sure the iteration is going to be amazing. But second, please, because you are both at the intersection of technology and entertainment, talk about what the technology might mean. For the ne for in the last 10 years, what's happened? Because I think that may be th the trick to why this is going to be the greatest selling game of all time. And those who want to are worried about sluggish, the downbeat bookings are going to miss the next 60 points. So, you know, we always want our labels to talk about their upcoming properties. Right. You're right, though, that technology has advanced greatly since Grand Theft Auto V was released. That was was literally three console cycles ago. Oh my God, and NVIDIA, remains, what was NVIDIA doing then? And, and it remains the standard bearer for the industry now. That's extraordinary. So yes, uh, my hopes and expectations are very high. 
Now, is it possible, as some of my friends at NVIDIA tell me, that there could be some things lurking inside that we never thought, kind of like uh, Free Guy, where people who are non-players may turn out to be not as much non-players as you think? Well, again, I wouldn't talk about any particular title. I do think that our generative AI is going to change the nature of what okay. we do, and I think it'll change the nature of many of our games in the future, all to the good for players and consumers. I think your point, Jim, is that that could indeed broaden the market because That's to the extent that the experience is more compelling and more welcoming, you know, we already have two and a half billion people on the face of the earth who play video games. Maybe that number goes up. Okay, that's what I'm thinking is that what will happen is, is that my, my nephew will say, Uncle Jumbo, have you seen this game? I'll say, no, I've, of course I've seen the game. He says, no, you haven't seen I want you this character. That I think it's a word of mouth for the next iteration that can make it so big. I think there's enormous opportunity ahead, and we are already the fastest growing industry in the entertainment business. And I think uh, the business is likely to accelerate, and technology is part of that. Not all of it, but right. part of it. And one last thing, I, it bothers me. I think people don't, you know, you have all these, you have, you put numbers out, and numbers out, and numbers out. Uh, if, if you didn't have Grand Theft Auto, wouldn't 57 million units for Red Dead be just an awesome, unbelievable number? It's a, it's a great point. So we have 11 franchises that have each sold at least 5 million units. Our second, our third, our fourth best titles are still bigger than most of our competitors. And today, of course, we are the number two pure play interactive entertainment company on Earth. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. You know, from our point of view, that means we still have a lot of work yet to do. I, I couldn't agree more. And I thought I was thought it was so great that people could still get the stock because of the, the downbeat market at a price that is very reasonable versus what I thought it might be when I heard about about GTA 6. That's Strauss Zelnick, chairman and CEO of Take Two Interactive. Please, it, it's, do not read things. Well, no, read these things and then realize why you can get the stock at a bargain. Man, money's packed up the break. Coming up, when you come to a fork in the road, get directions. With the auto strike in the rear view, where is this cohort headed next? Kramer's got the GPS when we return. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.